Hello. So, racism has no place in American life. That is the title of today's quick jab. Um, the media here lately, the last you know couple of years, especially for probably mostly for the last year though, has been uh, driving a a narrative of racism being the cause of most of the problems of the country, if not all of them, and specifically what they call white supremacy. White supremacy, whiteness, white culture, you know, European culture, these are all the root causes of every problem in America. And so if you're on the left, you probably thought when you saw this title, you probably thought I was going to be talking about that. You probably thought I was, I was going to be, uh, you know, bashing white supremacy and white people. But what I'm here to talk about today is actual racism, not what the media narrative says, not what CNN or MSNBC or whoever else says, not what Kamala Harris or Joe Biden, not that so-called racism, but true racism, which is which right now, actually, we as a Caucasian and white Americans are being, are the, the victims of more than any other group. True racism simply means that you hate or feel superior to members of another of other races, other ethnic groups. So if I say, you know, black people are intrinsically uh, inferior to me because they have black skin and I have white skin or whatever, that is racism. And that is precisely what is happening today. True, honest, honest, down-to-earth, no-holds-barred racism, not not political racism, but actual racism is happening today. Everywhere you look, people are trying to cancel, quote-unquote, what they call whiteness, white supremacists. Anytime any white person does anything wrong, commits a crime, whatever it is, you know, shoots people, whatever, automatically they did it because they hated, they were racist and they hated the people they were, they were shooting. Even when they don't find that the person is white that commits some sort of crime like shooting or whatever it is, they automatically say, well, it must have been because of white supremacy. Somehow white supremacy plays a part in this. You know, maybe his, he felt, he felt, um, uh, looked down upon, maybe he felt slighted, maybe he, 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 you know, he was being persecuted because of his race, and so he lashed out and he did these things. So no matter how you look at it, no matter how, what angle it comes from, no matter who does what, no matter who the perpetrator of the said crime or, or injustice or whatever it is, it's always blamed somehow or another on whiteness and white supremacy. True white supremacists are a very tiny portion of our culture. Of our, um, our um, of our country, I don't even know what this, the percentage is, but it's not very large. Maybe a percent at the most. You know, you got your Ku Klux Klan and your Nazis and skinheads, and there's these various and sundry groups out there that, for the most part, are pretty much non non uh, issues whatsoever. They're not even they're not even an issue. They're, they're so small. They're so fringe that most people don't even worry about them that much. They're, they're, you, can t you can see when they talk, you can hear them, and you can hear and see how stupid they are. Uh, but there are racists in every culture, every, every skin color, every background, every country has racists. Racism is not a problem of, for, of a, it's not the problem of so-called whiteness. It is not a white issue. Racism is a human heart issue. It is an issue that, that has been plaguing mankind of every color and every race since the beginning of time. And racism, especially in America, or racism in America, especially in politics and in the political realm and the news media, uh, is focusing now on one specific ethnic group, the, the, the so-called white race. 
and you know people so people have been saying well so this is what you get for for you know having slavery and this is what you get for the 60s and all the terrible things that happened for, to black people and this, this is your come up and this is the this is your repayment uh the, you know and i can understand the logic behind that but at the same time as the old saying goes two wrongs don't make a right simply because somebody did something in the past that was my they had my skin color that was wrong you know somebody, somebody did something wrong that had my skin color doesn't excuse you or anyone else from doing something wrong today because of you know because the person is you know has the same skin color as I do you know my great grandfather may have done something terrible he may have owned a slave I don't know I don't know much about my my history my family history but I am not him and he is not me and this is not the year 1860 or whatever or even 1960 uh, blaming people blaming an entire race of people for the sins of some of their their uh, forebearers or just blindly blaming an entire race of people for all the problems is racism no matter how you look at it doesn't matter what color the people are that are making the accusations it doesn't matter what their their people went through in the past it is never ever right to mistreat people because of their ethnic heritage regardless of what might have happened in the past i mean if we use the logic that people are using now about american white people you know american caucasian people we might even go back in time and say well uh you know let's let's punish let's punish people who have an italian heritage because of because of the inquisition or sorry spanish heritage because of the inquisition you know let, let's let's punish spanish people today for the, the the inquisition or let's let's punish people who have italian names because of the terrible enslavement and, and, and the conquering that uh, the romans did back in 3000 years ago or whatever it was let's 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 punish the uh you know let's punish the modern germans for for what happened you know in you know 80 or 90 years ago in the second world war for the for the nazi nazis and everything even though many modern germans now would have nothing to do with that they would probably die before they ever they were ever responsible for murdering a person and all this other stuff let's blame let's let's punish people now for terrible things that happened hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago why not why not just keep going why not ten thousand years ago why not uh you know punish them the um the descendants of the of the uh canaanites for the terrible things they did you know punish the the descendant you know the the medes and the persians that that, that would be the um the kurdish and the uh irani people punish them for the th the terrible things that, that, that babylonian kings did back you know in, in the year 800 AD or whatever it was let's punish everyone for everything they did that, that that everything that their ancestors did and that's kind of what's happening today a matter of fact it's not kind of it's definitely what's happening today we're blaming people today punishing people today making people pay today for things that happened before they were born maybe even before their grandparents were born maybe even before their great-grandparents were born and this modern you know 2021 racism is no different from the racism that caused uh, slavery it's no different from the racism that caused the Jim Crow laws it's the exact same racism uh, the people that are doing it are a different ethnic group you know usually we have we do have some uh, Caucasian people kind of helping them you know the, the Antifa and people like that it doesn't matter it's all racism and racism has no business in American uh, in American life no matter how you you cut it no matter what you call it no matter what your so-called reason for it is racism does not belong in America we do not need it in any form and it certainly should not be legally mandated racism we certainly shouldn't have racism legally mandated we certainly don't need a president who only hires people who are not white we don't need uh, news media who who are demonizing an entire ethnic group of people for what maybe two percent of them if that if that even if that much are, are doing uh and, and we ignore that the, the other things that are happening that are race-based we ignore the blm movement that are that are literally destroying thousands of 
homes and businesses and churches, burning down things, killing people, burning up police cars, attacking people in the streets, all because of their race or their refusal to to stop being friends with people of a certain race. And, you know, they, they build this on a, on a very weak foundation of, you know, people, you know, the death of people like George Floyd and other people that we actually know now didn't die because he was in police custody. He didn't, the cops didn't kill him. So what we do about this? Well, first thing is we need to recognize the real problem, which is the human heart. We need to recognize the real problem, which is uh, um, people don't know, not knowing God, people, uh, people uh, not um, putting God in their lives, people uh, looking at things only from the surface, and people not paying attention to what's really going on. And we need to reverse this before it becomes the same thing that happened in Nazi Germany, you know, to the Jews. Uh, if, you, if you think it's okay to, to look out your window one day and see, you know, lines and lines and lines of white people being led away to a, to a concentration camps or to a slaughter or to, you know, to gas chambers or whatever it might be, just because a few of them did something terrible to some black people or to some Hispanic people or because of the slavery that happened 100 years before they were born. If you think that's okay, then you are part of the problem. Um, repent of your sins, repent of your hatred, repent of your 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 um, mistrust, and treat each person as an individual, not as a white person or a black person or a, His, or a Hispanic person. Treat each person as an individual, and most importantly, give your heart and life to Jesus Christ. All right, thank you.